you know what? That might work on Steve Bannon's podcast, but that's not going to work in the Rules Committee of the United States House of Representatives. Democratic Representative Jamie Raskin tore apart Republicans Matt Gates and Jim Jordan during a House Rules Committee meeting. Now, this meeting was on a resolution recommending that the House hold Steve Bannon in contempt after he denied a congressional subpoena over the investigation into the January 6th insurrection. Now, to be honest, this is not a process I've been following all that closely. I'm more interested in the results of what happens from this investigation rather than the actual process of it itself. But these clips were standout moments here, and I think they're worth sharing. So first up, you're going to see Jamie Raskin here tearing into Matt Gates and his crap. Do you accept that Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election? I accept that Joe Biden is the president. Do you accept that he won the, the election by more than 7 million votes and defeated Donald Trump by 306 to 232 in the Electoral College, a margin that Donald Trump called a landslide when he beat Hillary Clinton by the same numbers? I think that our election was uniquely polluted by these indiscriminate mail-in ballots. I think that this was the first time in America's history where the mailbox beat the okay, ballot Okay, do you box. think there's any evidence that there was electoral corruption or fraud that materially altered the outcome of the presidential election, and where is that evidence? I believe that had mail, mail ballots not been sent to people who had not requested them, that Donald Trump would be sitting behind the resolute desk. Okay, but you don't think that there is, legally speaking, I know you're a lawyer because you went to the great law school, William Neary, um, you, legally speaking, there was no election fraud or no election corruption. Do you, no. do you, well, let's put it this way. Do you agree that 61 different federal and state courts, including eight judges that Donald Trump appointed himself to the federal bench, have rejected every claim of electoral well, I, corruption I just, or fraud that I, have been yeah. advanced? Do you I, agree with that? I, I don't, and the reason is those claims are not evaluated because in many of the circumstances you reference, jurisdiction was the principal question. So I think it requires a review of the procedure. Do you have process. any case authority in the land of those 61 cases or any other cases where a court has determined that there was electoral corruption or electoral fraud that materially uh, affected the outcome no, of the election in any state in the no, union? No court Do you has, have which, one? Which I believe is a real failure of the judiciary. I think our, the Article Three courts failed our country by not exercising more jurisdiction over those questions. Now, there's a difference in whether or not fraud existed and whether or not there's an adequate remedy. And I think also a number of those cases were kicked on remedies. Well, no court has said that fraud existed, and so there's no I, remedy because there's no violation, well, right, Mr. Right, Gates. Right, but you cannot there's no violation. There's no fraud. That there was okay. no fraud if they didn't take up the question and review the facts okay. on jurisdiction or the, remedy. You know what? That might work on Steve Bannon's podcast, but that's not going to work in the Rules Committee of the United like States House of Representatives. Here. I'm sorry, Mr. Gates, forgive me. All right, so I have a second clip coming up with uh, Jim Jordan and Raskin going after him. Even harder, I would say. But here you have just... I can't believe this discussion is still, still going on. I mean, I, I haven't been covering this because I find a lot of this so boring. Biden won the election. We all know that. Why is this the, the, this pretending? And of course, these Republicans uh, are pretending because that's what the base that's where the base is. The base supports Trump, so they're going to say whatever they can to try and get a piece of that. It's so disingenuous. It's so disgusting. As Jamie Raskin there pointed out, every single investigation has been thrown out, including with Republican judges, including ones that Trump appointed. This from uh, the Washington Post here. At least nine Trump appointed judges or Supreme Court shortlisters have declined to bolster his claims of election fraud. None have ruled in his favor. What more do you need when even the corrupt Republican judges are not on his side? But it's not enough as that's, again, it's all about serving the conservative base. That's where the base is. That's what they're trying to serve here. Now, before I get to the next clip, just quickly here to go over uh, what this meeting was about. So the House is going to vote to hold Steve Bannon in contempt for defying a subpoena. Republican Rep Representative Liz Cheney of Wyoming, one of two Republicans on the committee, said during the meeting that, quote, it appears that Mr. Bannon had substantial advanced knowledge of the plans for January 6th and likely had an important role in formulating those plans. So they clearly want to speak to him <laughs> for good reason. And they're questioning here uh, Matt Gates and Jim Jordan over that. So next clip here, this is going to be uh, Raskin going after Jim Jordan. Don't you letter. think it's important that when we're exercising our Article I powers to get the evidence we need in order to legislate, that people obey the subpoenas of the United States House of Representatives? You used to believe that, Mr. Jordan. Do you no longer believe that? Once a legitimate investigation, sure. 
All right. Sure. In 2012, the Oversight Committee approved a resolution holding Attorney General Steve, Holder Steve, in contempt uh, of Congress. Could, well, okay. Do you remember that one? When, Wait, say when, it again. I was thinking about how I was going to elaborate on the answer when you cut me off to ask me the question again. Well, please. continue, Mr. Jordan, because everybody's always violating your rights. So I'm going to give you all the time no, you no, want. No, no, no. No one's violating my rights. Uh, okay. I, I, well, I, look, I, let me remind you what you said when Attorney General Holder uh, was held in contempt, criminal contempt of Congress. We simply want the facts. Because Attorney General Eric Holder will not provide what the law requires, we are left with no other option except to hold him in contempt. We're doing the exact same thing, Mr. Jordan, no, we're with not. all the bluster about no, the border not. and all the other no, nonsense you're talking about, Russia and everything. We are holding him in contempt for violating a subpoena of the United States House of Representatives. There wasn't some special select committee that Republicans were not permitted to serve on that issued those subpoenas. That, 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 that's not the case. All right, well, let's this close with the this. Oversight Mr. Committee Jordan, why did you vote Committee? against Committee? the commission of five Republicans, five Democrats, equals subpoena power? Why did you oppose that? Are you also not interested in what happened to us on January 6th? Of course, everyone is interested in holding people accountable who did wrong. The FBI is doing that. The Justice Department is doing that appropriately. So, so what I'm not interested so why in why did you have all those Benghazi investigations if you don't think Congress should be investigating? Because Hillary Clinton misled the American people. Mr. She's Chairman, I yield back to you. I yield back to you, Mr. Chairman. How can a Republican possibly claim that, oh, Hillary Clinton misled the American people. That's why we had those Benghazi investigations. Meanwhile, turn around and defend Trump for his claims over the election. It's so incredibly dishonest. And yes, to be clear... Hillary Clinton is a dishonest politician. She is a, 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 a corporate politician, like the vast majority of politicians in Washington. But when it, comes to, when it comes to Benghazi, nothing was there. There were 33 hearings on Benghazi. The final report, once again, showed no evidence of wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton. So, look, I'm not going to defend Hillary Clinton on pretty much anything else, but when it comes to Benghazi, there is no reason to, to bring this up as if she's uniquely dishonest. Meanwhile, Donald Trump and his claims about election fraud are not. God, these people are so disgusting. But it was good to see Jamie Raskin there not taking any crap. And look, the reason why this is news is because this doesn't normally happen. Democrats are so, usually so incredibly weak, even when it comes to fighting Republicans, just the, the, the bare minimum. But here you have Raskin here actually fighting them, pushing back, and calling out their bullshit. And it was wonderful to see.